So I went out to William Jessup the other day, yesterday, and I'm a conservative evangelist, meaning that we set up enough chairs of what we expect because I like the visual of having to add chairs. Then I walked out there on the field and I saw 4,000 <laughs> chairs. You and I had different reactions to that, <laughs> and I appreciate. But that is precisely what the man who put on this dinner said. Look at all these seats. Look at all these seats. And my house must be full. I'm gonna tell you about a chair in a crusade or a chair in a church is the most single valuable piece of furniture on earth. It's better than a Louis XV couch. It is a vital piece of furniture. There's nothing like it. Let's compare it for a moment. You're sitting in one right now. You think that church is just somebody talking to you? We are the Christian movement, ladies and gentlemen. We're different from Islam, Buddhism, Scientology. Don't get me started on Scientology. <laughs> but none of those movements have the edge. You see, the Bible says, wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Making us the only movement in history where the founder attends every meeting. Somebody clap. He is here. He's here. He is here in this room. Now that we know that we're in an intolerable situation, the mask, how many of you love the mask? I not only wear a mask, I use chain link fencing to keep mosquitoes out of my yard. <laughs> I saw a guy here yesterday riding in his car alone wearing a mask. He's thinking, I'm going to give myself COVID if I'm not careful, <laughs> then they'll make fun of the church. Now, I'm going to tell you that the man became angry and then he made an imperative remark. He said, uh, my house must be full. And he's very angry about it. See, I'm raised in the inner city and I know what starts a fight in the schoolyard. It's not when the guy looks at you and says, your mama. <laughs> it's the guy behind you hearing that goes, ooh. <laughs> that starts the fight. <laughs> and that's when that servant came back, he said, uh, none of them are coming. The butler behind said, ooh. <laughs> Do you honestly believe that Sacramento wanted the pandemic to, to uh, as their reasoning behind locking down the church? I mean, if you honestly don't remember that animosity toward Christianity was a pre-existing condition in California. It was in the teachers' unions. It was in, the, it was in the, the authorities. It was everywhere. It became the butt of jokes of the three worst. We now have in America the three worst late night shows that America's ever had. They're all terrible. And let me tell you something. The man in this story said, my house must be full. That chair that you're sitting in. 
Compare it to a hospital bed. Would you rather be in this seat or in a hospital bed? Someone said, you are out of your mind inviting people on the edge of death to be in your tent to be healed. I said, I'm out of my mind. They're going to sit in a cold, dark hospital, thrown into an institutional nightmare compared to hearing worship and everybody rejoicing that the power of God is real. Even if they're not healed, God forbid, but even if they're not healed, they're in an atmosphere of faith and you know something's going to happen to them eventually. Now, how many of you'd rather be in that seat than on a psychiatrist's couch? Why on earth would you pay $300 an hour to talk to somebody who might be crazier than you are? I want to know. So what he did in his anger is he changed the job description of his entire staff. He told them, you're no longer my cook, you're no longer my gardener, you're no longer my domestic. You are now going out to the highways, the hedges, and you're going to bring people. Notice the change of language. In the first part, it says he invited people. Most churches do that. They said, man, we sent out a mass email. Everybody's coming. Here's Mario. Nobody's coming. That is spam. The only people we know that are coming are the ones we bring. But as pastor so wisely said, even if you aren't bringing someone tonight, you need to come. Because it's going to be a visual statement of the state of California. Tonight at William Jessup University, we are taking back our state. We're taking back our state. And you need to be there. We're taking back our schools. We're taking back our churches.